Hmm, what am I doing today? Today I'm doing a review of The Mandalorian, Season 1, Episode 8, Season Finale, and how much love it. This episode should be called Don't F with the Mandalorians and his Joy Boy. It was incredible. I loved it like that. So let's go on. It starts off when the two like Star Trooper guys is just bullshitting, goofing off. Kinda of being douchey like that. And showing how bad shot they are. Then the IGA shows up. He's like, I, I I'm the nurse of the baby the, that child. Give it to me or something bad thing happened. They mouth off. IGA breaks the dudes on, smashes the other torture into the motorcycle to a death like that. Well, after it cuts off to basically like the grand mouth guy, telling him the Mandalorian, the people like, hey, you have to surrender. I'm not gonna give you no promises because I, I, I realize, but it's my best interest to keep me alive to so get what I want. Like that. And he makes a big thing. He's like, I know he tells all of their names. He's like, yes, I was there for the siege of Mandalorian. You find out the backstory, they have a flashback, how the Mandalorians were basically, the Mandalorian guy basically was almost his parents were killed. And like how he was saved by the Mandalorian people, and you see how good soldiers the Mandalorians like how they wiped out the separate droids like this, and like uh, some parts of that like this, I would I would talk about how what I want to see next season, going more depth with that like that. But you see a little bit more of his backstory; it's pretty cool. And then you find out this guy was in the seeds of Mandalorian, and it's possible for the thinking like great genocide of Mandalorians like this, because the Mandalorian people has been like. Almost completely destroyed like that. Think of the siege of Carnage like that, when ninety percent of Carnage people from Romans were slaughtered like that, and only a small part of proportion escaped or was captured as slaves. That's what basically what happened during the siege of Mandalore like that. And like you see them doing this, he's like, "You better give up. We finally made the weapon like this because they have this big ass laser weapon like that." And they finally set it up. He's like, hey, "I'm gonna give you some a couple minutes to think about it." Well. They, now Mandalorians, the leader of the girl, and the one rebel chick, basically take to the wall off. They see this little gate thing going to the other ground stuff, because, like, thinking the uh, Mandalorians live in the sewerage like that. In the sewerage system like this. So they should shoot ladies who truck their way out. Then, uh, AJ shows up, starting, like, shooting all these, they had a huge-ass gunfight. He's not shooting these freaking, like, uh, stormtroopers like this. And it's, like, an old restaurant movie. It was, like, one of the best... Thinking like gunfights in Star Wars history. Nothing beats freaking World War One gunfight, but when that happened, they have this one uh, Star Troopers, they have a frame for her. He goes in trying to burn the Mandalorians out, like that. And you're gonna lose his little like wizard, wizard, like uh, force power to basically shoot up the fire and kill all of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> After that part, you see one the, the Mandalorian runs out. And he's trying to like take the one big gun from them like this and turn it against them like that. Well, the Grand Moth guy shoots this little thing, blows up. Basically, the explosion damages the Mandalorian, so he's bleeding from the skull. He has, he has skull problems like this. The rebel chick like that runs up and saves him, brings him back to the thing. And the Mandalorian is dying like that. And like, she's like, no, he's, he's like, leave me alone. It's the way. You should save the baby like that. Let's go. My people will protect you if you give us a little necklace like that. And the uh, freaking androids like this, I'll help him out, but just go. He, she sprays like basically the, the bath water, but maybe like when uh, Luke was in the bath tank, the bath tank stuff like that. And he, he heals him up in a couple hours, like he said. So he was getting healed up, and she walks him to the rest of the group. They make their way to his boat. You see this like weird freaking like machine guy thing. So the shooting boat guy basically like, basically like, basically is a word for a lava and the boat is basically like, 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 floating on the lava like, to the freaking tunnels like that, kind of thing. And like, he's basically explaining some of his backstories like that. And uh, they get stuck in this one spot. Oh, my bad. Let's go back up. Uh, my bad. I feel the spot. Before they go to the river of lava, when they're in the tunnels like this, they meet up with the, the Mandalorian Smith girl. And the Smith girl is basically like, hey, you have to take care of this child until it's fully grown or until you find his parents like this. And he's like, but the parents are wizards, like evil wizards like this, basically talking about the Jedi's. And he's like, yep, that's true, that's the way, you have to find them. So basically he has to be the father of the Yoda like this, and she admits, 
you know is not strong enough to survive the training like that of their culture like that. So like he's basically gonna be in the culture too so he, he finds a way to be to bring back the species of your other species or to like another wizard of people like that. I, I'm gonna go more in detail about it in the next video about what I wanna see in like Mandalorian season two and my why I want wanted them to support her. After that part, she they leave uh, the star producer comes in and surrounds the Smith girl. The Smith girl literally asks them all up, crashing their skulls like that. An amazing hand to hand combat dominates them. Like, she kills literally Pro 13 freaking, like, stormtroopers like that. Very violent episode. You see, like, bodies burning up alive like that earlier on in the episodes, like that, with Frame 4 and stuff. An explosion. Well, back to this. They're in the tunnels, and IGA is like, hey. He's like talking to like, hey, there are stormtroopers in the front of the tunnels. We won't survive. We don't have the, 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 the firepower. I need to make a sacrifice. So the whole season, the Mandalorian shows how much he hates droids, but he, he got kind of attached to his answer like that. And then the Android's like, don't be sad. This is the, this is the way. This has to be. So he sacrificed himself to save baby Yoda and everybody else by becoming a suicide bomber, blows himself up, kill a bunch of stormtroopers. They made it out. And then you have the Grand Mountain kind of guys in a <clears throat> TIE fighter like this. So the Mandalorian has to put his jetpack out. The one he gets from the freaking um, Smith chick. He flies in the air, shoots the guy, puts some bombs in the, the TIE fighter's wings, blows up like that. And that's the end of that dude like this, so far. Then freaking, um, he talks to the people like this, and the gear guys, like, the leader gets like, hey, you're welcome back to the gear, you get paid more than else. You're always welcome here. Like that, Baby Yoda's, he's cool. And he offers a job to the rubber chick like that. He's like, hey, you're good. He's like, yes, first off, you get to find a place for this kid like this. And he, he drives off. Show, and after that, it cuts off to basically the X-Wing and this laser thing cutting out of the, the ship. And you find out the Grand Moth guy has a dock saber like this. The dock saber is basically the sword of the Mandalorians, the, 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 the leader of the Mandalorians people have like that. Basically from the first Jedi Mandalorian like this. And it basically tells you the the Empress like that, the sister, the leader of Death Watch, forget the one Sabine gives the life the the Doxator to, is dead. There's no way she just give it up. She was died in the battle point the, the siege of Mandalorian like this. And like I would I'm gonna get more in details what I want to see in this like that and what I want to say about him. But when I saw that life, I'm like, God, this is what I imagined the Thoughts would look like in live action. I thought it was amazing. I loved it like this. So I give this episode a solid 10. You know, did you like the thinking like last episode of the Do you think it was crap? Do you think it was amazing? Tell me your thoughts and opinion and let's go on this journey, okay? Like and subscribe and have a blessing day.